Welcome back to today's tutorial. This is on the golden glam makeup look that I did on Penny, my model. So if you want to find out how I created this look, then keep on watching. So usually when starting off any makeup look, I tend to start with the eyebrows. And here I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in medium brown and starting just underneath the arch just building that brow up and then just creating a nice slight arch to the top of the eyebrow <laughs> I'm carving out underneath and just making the underneath of Penny's eyebrows just look that little bit more neater and for this I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and then what I will do is then I'll bring this concealer down onto the eyelids and this is this sort of creates a blank canvas for the shadows that we put on and it also um, helps show up the colours that we put on the eyebrows a little bit better. And I just like to blend it in using my finger and then I'm just going over very lightly with some Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and that's just create a nice smooth base for us to blend the shadows on. So here I'm using the Illamasqua eyeshadow and that is in the colour Heroin. And here I'm just blending into the crease and really concentrating that to the outer edge of the eye. And then I'm building up that colour using a smaller blending brush and just concentrating that more so into the crease of the eye and then I just keep going back into that colour by Illamasqua and just keep adding and adding and adding just still concentrating on the outer corner crease with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Just getting Penny to open up her eye just so I know how high I need to go with that concealer. Then I'm packing on with a short shader brush the pigment from Beaches and Cream called Nude and I absolutely love this colour. This colour is just perfect if you want to even just put it all over the lid. It's beautiful. If you want to pack more of a punch, you can always use MAC Fix Plus, wet the brush and um, just pack that back on. But as you can see, it doesn't need it. It's gorgeous. So now I'm going in with the colour Undone by Urban Decay and I'm just concentrating that on the outer corner of the eye creating that C shape around the edge then I'm just using my blending brush and I'm just blending out the edges just so they're not so harsh here I'm using my micellar water and I'm just wiping away any of the pigments from underneath the eye I'm just using the Inglot eyeliner in number 77 and creating a bit of a wing to the eye. Then to build 
build the wing up I'm going from the end of the line the wing line and I'm bringing that to the center of Penny's eyes <laughs> Now I'm just curling Penny's eyelashes and I'm using my Sure Irma eyelash curlers and these are fabulosa. Using my metal lash comb, I'm then using my favourite mascara, which is a Max Factor 2000 calories. <music> then I've just applied some nice eyelashes using the duo lash adhesive and just using the tweezers i just like to make sure i pinch and attach those lashes onto penny's natural lashes sometimes the bigger the lash the bigger the lash band so it is sometimes a little bit more difficult to attach that to natural lash so all it is is just a matter of perseverance and just wiggling and sort of bending that eyelash. Now to prime Penny's face, I'm using the MAC Prep and Prime and it's the Skin Base Visage. And I like to put a small amount, about a pea size amount and just dot that all around Penny's face mainly really just concentrating the majority of it on the centre and I like to rub that around and then I like to make sure I pat it into the skin. Using a foundation brush I'm using MAC Pro Longwear and I'm just putting that onto Penny's skin and then what I like to do is go in afterwards with a Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge just to pat that out and blend it out. This foundation is quite a medium to full coverage but it is buildable so it is a good one for all day wear. blending brush and I'm just placing the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer just underneath Penny's eyes and um, I'm using this in sort of like a triangle shape just so that it encourages light it gives the illusion of uh, that it's more light towards the eye and then I'm just patting that in with my Real Technique sponge love this concealer, it's one of my favourites. So just placing the main the majority of the concealer where I want it using the blending brush and then I'm just blending and pressing that in using the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. I'm bringing dimension back into Penny's face and I'm using the Benefit Hula Bronzer 
and I'm just created a three shape over round penny's face so over the temples round by the cheekbones and just underneath the jawbone and I'm doing a bit of highlighting using the Charlotte Tilbury Blonde and Glow Film Star Bronze and Glow I'm just putting a bit of this on the tops of Penny's lips and to the point of the nose and round the bridge just placing a little bit of that as well on the under arch of her eyebrow and I'm just putting a tiny bit of it also on the inner corner of the eye just brightens up the eye and gives the illusion that the whites of the eye are a lot whiter than they are then I'm using Max Subculture pencil and just going round and lining Penny's lips Really great, she looks absolutely stunning. 